Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna be painting my nails, going through my nail routine. I'm kind of stuck in between what I should do. I, uh, my right hand, like you, you guys can see that, it's it's hanging onto a thread. <laughs> and I'm stuck in between just like chopping them all off and just being short or maybe just trying to salvage it. I mean, what I would usually do, I'll show you. Um, I would grab my Orly um, like repair powder and glue, brush it over this area to kind of give it some extra strength and support. Um, but I don't know if I wanna do that or not. This nail, This nail specifically has been giving me the most trouble since my nails have gotten a little bit longer it's just it's it has a um what do you call those again a stress fracture so it's just prone to to breaking um so let me see i kind of actually want to file my nails in a more pointier shape so maybe that actually might help so let me just let me do that and see how that goes first Now, usually I use a 100 to 180 nail file, usually on the, the, the 180. The higher the number, the more gentle it is going to be on the nails. Um, I probably like should not even be using a 180, but I've, I've always used 180. It's just, it's just what I use. Um, but I would definitely recommend maybe a more gentler grit. Um, just so you guys know <laughs> but let's see i just have a layer of of base coat of like strengthening base coat i haven't done my nails in like two days so it's been a bit so let's see let's see how this goes let me first file this hand and then we'll we'll, we'll work with the troublemaker so they always say you're supposed to file in one direction who the heck has time for that crap? I'm sorry, I don't. Like, I'll try my best. But honestly, like, it is what it is. So usually when my nails get to a certain length, um, I like to kind of file them this way anyways, like kind of tug back at the skin, get the file, the nail file right there. In like file at an angle I'm not trying to grow them out any longer than this I've had them longer than this before and it's just very very tough to maintain um, especially with work especially with the kids um, but I do like this kind of medium length shape it's just my right hand man it's just not working with me plus I kind of actually enjoyed the short nails and not really having like that much visible nail line and not worrying about like if a polish was like not as opaque like this one for example my son has been telling me to paint my nails with this specific polish from bees knees for like weeks now and i know that it's not as <laughs> it's not as opaque so that's why i haven't done it because i just don't want to bother using a blurring base coat but if my nails were a little bit shorter i wouldn't worry about that but anyways, let's let's keep filing. So I'm going to wait to file the top until I file the sides of all of these four. But I kind of have like the angle that I want. So, what a mess. <laughs> I kind of have them at like the almondy pointy shape that I would like them to be. Um, usually what I would do now is go in with a glass nail file um, and then just kind of round the tips a little bit. I usually like using a glass file um, to do this just so that like it can have a more like smoother rounder shape. I notice when I use like just a regular like emery board um 
like it's not as rounded or as smooth and you have like these almost kind of it looks like a stop sign <laughs> like a hexagon like those sharp like corners so that's why i like using a glass file to kind of smooth it out um this one is from polished by p absolutely love the owner the brand she's freaking amazing she lives um in my town as well and we've met up a couple of times um, i have a discount code i don't make any money off of it but it can save you guys money so i'll leave that down below I actually <clears throat> think I want them a little bit shorter than this. So what I'm going to do is take the regular emery board and then just shave off some of the top. And if I do that, then I need to file the sides a little bit more to make it more of an angle shape. Because it loses its shape when you shave off the top. So there you go, they're a little more on the almond, almondy shape, pointier end. So let's work with the other hand that's struggling. We have a dilemma. <laughs> I was interrupted <clears throat> when I was filing my right hand. Went to the beach, so I didn't apply anything, left it as is, didn't add another layer of base coat, went to the beach, and now look what we're, what we're working with. Broke, and even the pinky broke. So you know, I'm just gonna chop them off, guys. I'm, I'm just gonna do it. I like short nails, it's easier, less of a headache. I don't know where my clippers are, so I'm just going to use my kids' clippers. And literally, I'm just I'm just going to uh, follow the smile line for each of these nails. It doesn't have to be perfect. doesn't have to be precise. Just chopping down the length. And now we are back to shorties. So I'm going to go back in with the same nail file, um, Beauty Secrets. I get these um, either on Amazon or at Sally's Beauty Supply. Most of the time now, I'm just going on Amazon because getting to a store by myself with no kids. <laughs> I mean, with no kids. Okay, yeah, that never happens. And I'm gambling, taking a chance going in with them. <laughs> so Amazon it is. And I literally just do the same thing like I did when I was filing them. They were longer. I like to angle the sides and curve the top. So a pesky little hangnail right here. It's actually really painful, but when I do my nail root care you guys you'll see how i remove it so they're both filed down or filed into shape um cut down kind of like where i want them now and um now i'm going to do some cuticle care i use the cuticle eliminator from be natural and i get this um, on amazon i used to put it in um like a separate little polish bottle but I don't know where that is now, so I'm just doing it straight from the bottle. And now I wait for about a minute or two, let it soak in, do its thing, and start pushing back. I go in with my metal uh, cuticle pusher. You can definitely use a wooden um, cuticle pusher. I actually have these giant ones that I got at uh, Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, but I just prefer the metal one. You do have to be very careful when you're using a metal pusher because if you're not holding it at the right angle, you can cause a lot of damage to the nail plate. 
So holding it at obviously a 90 degree is not going to work. Not even like 75, I'd say like a 45 degree angle. And, and you don't want to start from here and push down because then you're going to be scraping off that nail plate. So the closer you can start to the cuticle area, the better. And I always like to push the sides as well, not just this area. I'll then take the sharper edge of the pusher um, and then just kind of gently scrape away. After the cuticles are all pushed back, I'll go and wash my hands. And I usually use a scrub. It's always the KB Shimmer Sugar Scrubs. Um, this one I've had, what I've been using recently, the Warm Apple Cider. I have another one in rotation. I think it's like Apple Harvest, something like that. But this one specifically, oh my god. It smells divine. And it's like, it instantly puts you in like this calm state. I don't know what it is about it. I've tried a whole bunch of other scents, like for the sugar scrubs, and this one just does it. I'm going to actually check on the site and see if they sell this specific one. I think I got this on a polish, on like polish pickup. I don't even remember a while back. So, but yeah, I see that it's been, it's been loved on, <laughs> but the texture, I love the texture. It's a nice, like gritty scrub, which I love. So now it's time to do a little nipping. So I don't nip the cuticle. I just snip like whatever's hanging out. So like that bad guy. Um, I think it had something over here. You just kind of see that. Everything else looks pretty okay. So I'm just going to leave it alone. And then I kind of just look and see. Do I have to shape my nails a little bit better? They look pretty much the same I'd, I'd say so I'll leave them alone but I will nip these little bad guys so just stabilize go as close to the base as possible and cut and there should never be any tugging if you're tugging it means that your nippers are dull and you either have to sharpen them or just toss them get another pair so from here if I have any polish or have like base coat on right now, I'll remove that. I'll add a little bit of hand lotion, um, some cuticle oil, and then I would go in for um, like polish. But I definitely would use some type of like dehydrator before because, you know, the oil and the lotion gets on the nail plate and then the polish won't really stick well. So I have a little bottle of the dry and prep from Glisten and Glow. I go ahead and use that. I don't really have a specific lotion that I would use. I mean, I have like these two that I just have on my desk right now. Um, this one is from Bath and Body Works, Shea Butter. Um, and then this one is from Bees Knees Lacquer. Um, ugh, I forget what their lotion is called again. Does that say it on here? No, I forget. I think it's like a specific name. But anyways, um, this one has a little pump. So I just keep it on my desk. And as for cuticle oil, I have a crap ton. <laughs> so I'll just use whatever is on my desk, whatever is here. But yeah, that's what I would pretty much do to shape my nails. I mean, you guys got to see a little bit of both shaping and cutting down and shaping. Um, but... <laughs> Yes, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, leave me any comments down below, and subscribe for some more, and I will see you in my next one.